This is the Sunday brunch they have here at the only Trinidad restaurant in Los Angeles that serves Trini style Sunday brunch. Very hard to find. That's the reason why you need to consider this restaurant. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I am out here in Inglewood and I'm gonna be returning to another cuisine in the past that I really loved, but it's really hard to find in Los Angeles. So I'm jumping back into the wonderful world of Trinidad and Tobago food. Like I said, there's really not too many of these places you can find in Los Angeles. I think there's only like two or three the most, but I am at a new spot. So today I'm gonna to be trying uh, Trini food, I guess for the second time in my life at this other restaurant that's actually fairly new in Inglewood. It's called Trini Style Caribbean Cuisine. They have some really rocking, authentic Trinidad and Tobago food as authentic as it gets. And today is actually a pretty cool day because on Sundays they make authentic, traditional Trini style brunch. So I'm gonna be having some of that home style brunch food that they have on the islands. And let me tell you, this is probably the closest thing you're gonna get to that here in LA. So if you guys wanna see a very specialty food here in Los Angeles, then you better stick all the way to the end of this episode so I can show you some amazing stuff here in LA. And also if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly. You don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And I just got here to the restaurant. Oh yeah, let's do this. All right guys, so I'm in the kitchen right now. This is Merlin right here, the lovely owner of Trini Style. And she's got some awesome brunch going on here. So she's gonna show us some of the amazing selections that they cooked up for today. This is oxtail. Red beans. Red beans. Kalaloo. Kalaloo, all right. Yes, very traditional. You said stewed chicken is this one? Yep, stewed stew chicken. Stewed chicken, okay. We got some fish. Oh, what kind of fish is this? It's called king mackerel. King well, we mackerel. We call it king fish in King Trinidad. fish, okay. Yeah. And corn, famous mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. mac and cheese, or like we call it in Trinidad, macaroni pie. Okay. So it looks pretty much like cafeteria style, but you don't actually line up here, at least not for now. So you order it out in the front according to what you want on the menu, and then they would assemble it back here, scoop it in your to-go plate, and then you can take it, eat it outside, or take it home and enjoy it in the comfort of your own home. So I just decided to get all three what was on their breakfast menu today, their brunch menu. And this place doesn't cut any corners because all of this is authentic recipes. Marlene even grinds her own powder in order to make the spices for this thing. I mean, it is really quite a work of art. So here is my first order. This is the chicken stew. This obviously is the chicken and it looks so juicy and tender. And it comes with the macaroni and pie, which is the signature macaroni and cheese dish of Trinidad Tobago. And then we got some red beans right here and some uh, kalaloo. Kalaloo, yes, kalaloo. And then here we got the oxtail. This is really the uh, biggest one on the menu. The oxtail, which is stewed, beans, kalaloo, macaroni pie with some white rice in the bottom. And then if you want to go the seafood route, they do have the fish. This one is the king mackerel. And once again, some more macaroni pie, callaloo, and some red beans and rice. Potato salad, looks very nice. It comes with your meal. And did I also mention they have some really great authentic Trini sodas as well, like the Shandy Curib Sorrel and the Solo, yes, the Solo Cola Champagne. If you guys live on the island, I'm pretty sure you'll recognize this. Maybe what I'll do is I'll start with the chicken plate and I'm gonna dig into some of this delicious looking macaroni pie, which like I said, once again, is their version of mac and cheese. Wow. That is so good. Macaroni and cheese. 
It pretty much tastes like a mac and cheese. The, the pasta is in there, which is very soft by the way, and the cheese, so cheesy. So on the top, it looks like it's been baked, so there is some of that, a little bit of that crispiness from the, from the cheese that's on top that's been melted, but then inside, you get like a really full-on cheesy flavor. Wow. This is off to a good start. And then I wanna go ahead and try some of the Callaloo. This is the first time I'm trying Callaloo. It's their version of cream spinach. So you tried our curry. Yep, that is definitely a creamy vegetable dish. And there's some spices in there that kind of makes it a little spicy. So it doesn't taste exactly like the American cream spinach that you'll find, like for example, in barbecue or steakhouses. But nevertheless, it's very tasty. And you should get your vegetables, by the way. You should definitely get your fiber too. That's why I'm also moving on to the red beans, which also look delicious and hearty. Wow, that is tasty. That is pretty good. It's sweet. I didn't really expect that because I didn't know what I was going to eat when I was biting into this. I'm going to try some of this chicken, maybe a piece of the chicken breast first. And by the way, this gravy is like some sort of a caramelized sugar. You know, I don't really know what the process is, but apparently there's a technique to making this that not too many people know how to do, I guess, except uh, Trinidadians. Mm. Wow, that is pretty amazing. That chicken is so tender and the, uh, the sauce, you can taste it sweet. This is like the definition of a very feel good chicken stew done Caribbean style. And you know all this food that I'm eating today, it's all characteristic of Sunday brunch that you would find in Trinidad Tobago. So. If you were to go to Trinidad, Tobago, you'll see this in many homes cooked on Sundays. You can see this is also dark brown. It's caramelized, really dark brown, cooked to hopefully perfection. You want to cook it until it's pretty tender. That's how you get the ideal taste. Wow, that is pretty good. Yeah, it's really soft. I don't get oxtail that often because it's pretty expensive. Probably some of you guys know if you've been to a market before. And there's so many different ways to cook oxtail. This is one of the ways, of course, which is very delicious, the Caribbean way. Wow, I like how the fish is so tender. It's so big too. Yeah, I didn't really like that. It's kind of bitter. Yeah, what about sister and pineapple? Wow, that fish is so good. Well, it tastes just like mackerel. So if you know what mackerel tastes like, you know what to expect. And be a little bit careful because there are sharp bones in here. So just letting you know, be very careful of that, guys. If you can just get around the bones and get to the meat. Oh, so much treasure down there. That fish is so soft. Yes, I would recommend that fish too. If you love fish, especially the mackerel fish that's very tender, this is your dish right here. Seasoned to perfection. Once again, with that Caribbean spice to it, that's so signature of Trini cuisine. Even this potato salad is so tasty as well. Kind of reminds me of Belizean style potato salad that I had last year. So good. In fact, everything here is so wonderful in its own way. And like I've been saying at this whole episode, it's very hard to find Trinidad food in Los Angeles and especially Trinidadian uh, Sunday brunch, it's like really rare. So this is quite something you're getting here at Inglewood. So if you happen to be in this area and you're looking for a really great restaurant, then definitely consider Trini style cuisine because they make Trinidad food, which is really awesome. And they have different foods every day depending on whether you come on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So definitely check the website link or call in if you wanna know uh, what they have on the menu for the day. But I'm definitely gonna come back here again because I wanna try the other stuff that's on the menu, such as the doubles and the roti. So definitely gonna come by on another day. All right guys, so before I close out this episode, I wanna give a shout out once again to Merlin here. Yeah, she's gonna take care of you when you come here. And by the way, 
If you mention that you saw this episode when you came here, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna give you a free drink and their drinks here are pretty good, right? Yes, it is. All our drinks are natural, okay, besides the bottled ones. So we have our ginger pine, that is freshly squeezed every day and juiced. We have our mauve, which is a tree bark, good for the body, to clean the body out, and we have sorrel. Come on down here when you get a chance and uh, enjoy some of this awesome Trini food. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode. You know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Comment on the section below. If you've been here, I'd love to hear your story. And finally, subscribe so that you can get these awesome food and travel adventures. And I'm telling you, I will be back here, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, have a rocking day today, folks, and I'll see you in the next video.